hello everyone in this video let us use uh, script now to fetch the last comment on an issue and also display it uh, in a calculated field now if you remember from uh, the recent video i talked about how to fetch the number of comments and display it in your issue so if you look at this issue here it says uh, number of comments and uh, this particular number of comments field will display basically the number of comments and if i add maybe a new comment here so let us say if i want to add a new comment like this is my new comment i can of course uh, see immediately that the number of comments will become uh, six because we are simply counting so you can take a look at that video and uh, you can uh, learn how to do it but in this video i want to basically do something uh, slightly different i want to basically display the very last comment here uh, in a field so i want to have a new field called uh, last comment of course and uh, display the last comment simple a very simple thing but it can be useful if you are doing something uh, similar maybe you want to display this uh, last comment uh, somewhere separately for doing this i will go to the script field and uh, i already have a script field called uh, number of comments and i will add one more when it comes to script fields the most important thing to know is uh, the uh, template because whatever value you are you're trying to display it should match the template otherwise it won't work now i'll add a custom script field so i'll add a field name called uh, last comment um and the template as i mentioned is very important so you can have you can leave it as text field and it 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 means that you should return something which is uh, uh in a text format and the actual script itself now i already have a script here that i can uh, refer to which i will modify called last comment i will add it and after adding it i will uh, also make sure i add it to the screen where i want to display it so i'll uh, for the for sake of simplicity i'll just add it on all the screens it is not a huge instance of jira and once you add a new new field you can then go back to your issue and right now if i do a refresh let us see let, let us see what happens so we do have this last comment displaying 6 and the reason is that uh, if i go back to my script i basically copied the old script from the number of comments but i don't really want this i will change it to in fact we don't need even need to declare this variable uh we can now use a method called last so this is when you are when you are dealing with a list you can uh, refer to the last item and uh, this is how this is how you will do it it is of course a simple way very simple way of doing it uh, you don't have to iterate the whole list to get to the last item and uh, if i refresh it you can see here that we do have something which is in a text format but it is not really readable it is basically basically the object but if you click on this dot and if you type in here uh select body here uh you you can also do few other things but let us see what happens with body and if i go back to my uh, issue hopefully it will uh, display this is my comment and this is how you will do it i mean uh, it is not, i know it is not very complicated but uh, i think it is uh, good to know how to work on a list of items and uh, in this case of course uh, we were dealing with uh, the object the individual comment object itself uh, which is a good which is a good thing because instead of body maybe you want to display the author name so you have if, if you type in get here you can see all the things that you can get from this you can see the created date you can see e e even the issue in fact 
and uh, updated date, few other things. But I think we wanted to see the body, so you can use get body, which is more clear. And uh, this will now display, of course, the last comment. You can also do, I believe, uh, instead of last, if you try first. And by the way, these things are groovy things. It is not really something to do with script owner itself. We are using groovy methods. So you can also get the first method. And uh, there is also one more way. You can also do something like get. In that case, you can specify the index. If you do something like uh, maybe 9, it will give you an error. It should give you an error. It will not work. And if I refresh it, because there is no 9 in this case, uh, and if you go to the script field, and if you refresh, the last com uh, the last comment will display some error here. Like, you know, um, script field failed because of index out of bound exception. So basically, you're trying to fetch something which is beyond the size of your list. Um, let us try with maybe five, because we know that we have five, at least five uh, comments. So this is this is now working, and uh, I'll just switch it back to the last. So it is, of course, my script is now reusable without worrying about the uh, index size. So this is all I wanted to share uh, in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.